Well, what up YouTube? Thank you for joining me in this early morning. I just decided to drop the load. It's a drop, you know, you know, drop. So I just took it empty. Came out back. We in Phoenix, Arizona. And I just wanted to go over the time I started with night up to December 27. This is 2018. I started with night transportation around June. Orientation. So before I got started, my first paycheck was like probably July, July 5th. So we did July, August, September, October, November, December. So about say five months, five months, right? And we started from the bottom, man. You know, we, we they had to do a refresher, had to do Squire. And I stayed out and run all the way up to... December 24th. That was my last day before I took a nice little break. And basically I grossed $24,000 and $48.14. That's what I grossed. $24,048 and 14 cents. That's what I grossed with night in the five months. Net Net that they, after, you know, taxes every, you know, all your little charges, insurance, paying back the uh, Squire program, I probably net $20,281.56. So that's five months of running with night. Grossed $24,000. $48.14. And like I said, that's starting from the bottom. Starting all over again as a new driver in this industry. So we did, I think it was pretty, pretty good runnings, you know? Yeah, so, you know, like I said, you know, starting out, I definitely, of all the reviews that I've heard about Night on the um, YouTube, the experience was a little bit different, I could say. Because I, they have plenty of miles, you know. They have lots of loads. I mean, it is a mega carrier. I just wish sometimes they would enforce... Their lease program, you know, it seems like maybe their lease program ain't that that good. You know, it's not it's not endorsed like most carriers. They promote their lease. I don't think they really do it that much here. So hey, but you know, this is what I see. So you know, like I said, I started with them in June, and I ran all the way up to about December twenty fourth. And we grossed about $24,000, you know. So I, I say it's pretty decent for a new driver coming in. That's good runnings, you know. That's very good runnings. But yeah, so we at the Phoenix Yard right now, the terminal. You know, I just, like I said, just dropped the load. That was good. I just brought it in. It don't deliver till about 8 o'clock in the morning. But and right now, what is it? 12 o'clock here? 12 o'clock. So I just got rid of it. I was sleeping late. Probably get up, do a little workout in the gym. Got a nice little facility here in the Phoenix place. And you know, might be if I got time, probably look for a new video camera. Get that going. Well, yeah, man. You know, so hey, subscribe to the channel, like it, share it. Do all those good things, you know. So, CFT first, pre trip your truck. Oh, yes, at that California yard, you know, I did one of those pre trips where you know, kind of aired up the tire. Must have been driving on this tire that was flat in the, in the rear because it like the rim was bent in the inner, and in the put ear in here, it's like ear is coming right out. So, we got that changed. So whoever get that trailer next, they got a good running tire back there. 
You know what I mean? So it's always good to check your ear pressure in your tires. Again, you know, I used to use that little hammer. But checking them is much more better than hammer. So, you know, we're going to say, you know, that I got that tip from Highway Diva. Yeah, Highway Diva, you know. Yeah, you could hit it with the thumper. It's still not going to show you how much pressure you really have in those tires. But checking them with the gauge and putting the right proper tire pressure in there is much more better off. Because you know what's in there, you know. You could hit on it all you want. So, shout out to Highway Diva on that one. You know, good little tip. Because that's the first thing I got when I got back out here, my thumper. Because that's what I was used to. But that makes sense. Yeah, you could hit it. But, but what, what pressure, what ear pressure is going to tell you? Nothing. But checking it with your tire pressure... Gauge, you'll know exactly what PSI is in that tire. So, shout out to Highway Diva on that one. And CFT first, pre trip your truck and catch me in a truck stop. King God Almighty, the first.